Hey guys, what's up? This is Rares, and today I am going to do a Dollar Tree haul. Hoo! Let's all get to hooting and hollering. Well, this Dollar Tree haul is just going to have books, so I'm sorry to tell you uh, my Dollar Tree is not amazing where it gets like so many products and like makeup and perfume. My Dollar Tree really sucks, like honestly. Um, we barely get new things in and what we literally have is the same things we've had all year long nothing in there is new um it's just restocks of the same makeup brands there's no milani there's no uh maybelline covergirl none of that stuff none of that new stuff that you all been getting we do not get any of that um <laughs> It's sad because I used to go in there a lot. Like, I used to go in there frequently, but not really anymore because they don't get anything new. So, uh, I go and check at least once a month to see if there's anything new. And I always get disappointed. So, anyways, um, but I did buy books. Um, for some reason, they will send books to my Dollar Tree. Um, and I guess I should be appreciative of that, right? Because at least we're getting something so let me go ahead and just show you what books I got. Um, yeah, because that's really all there is to say about my Dollar Tree. It sucks. I can't do hauls and things like that because there's nothing to haul. It's just the same crap over and over. So I'm a little upset about that because, like, it's no fair. Like, just because I live way south, way south Texas, like, it doesn't mean, like, we shouldn't get new things. I feel like it's partial, partial distance partial discrimination partial a lot of things <clears throat> but anyway at least i don't live in no offense to anybody who lives in new mexico but i feel like the people over there are world deprived of a lot of things like when me and my boyfriend went to new mexico it was like wow like real barren like there's so much land in new mexico if you want to be away from everybody like seriously anyways um let me go ahead and get started I have my stack of books here so I like to read in my spare time I'm not like I'm not like a deep reader um just because like some stuff is a little hard for me to read but like I like some deep literature but not all my favorite is young adult literature, and that's because I love, I mean, I like youth. I mean, I loved my youth. Um, I, uh, I I like young young people, young kids, and stuff like that. Not like that. Calm down. I'm, I used to work, you know, at a school and stuff. I'm just saying, like, I, I appreciate the young, and I appreciate the old as well. Um, but anyways, yeah, I have a lot of classic literature and a lot of stuff for my boyfriend because he loves to read and write reviews on books and then uh stuff for my literature classes and just a whole lot of different kind of books but my fun like my my leisure reading my pl pleasure reading is youth books um for young adults like young adult literature okay uh and so yeah i have these books and they're that's the audience for these um okay not all of them but for most of them like for this one eh. this one is called p.s i loathe you a clique novel by lisa harrison and this is from the new york uh times best-selling um um collection i guess a clique novel so i'm guessing these are kind of like kind of like oh okay it says Lisa Harrison created and developed shows for MTV. She resides in Laguna Beach, California. Oh, I see. So there you have it. She creates stuff for MTV and she writes this stuff. I have some other ones that look like this, but it says that they're, um, it's the writer for Gossip Girl. So that's the type of books I like to get. <laughs> I got this one. This one's new. Um, I was like so hoping that I didn't buy the same one again but yeah I have different ones so if you want to see like a collection video of these books like just let me know if I don't get any requests on that I know you're not interested 
Okay, so, oh, here's another. I think it's for young adults. Some of these, I'm like, I have to take that back. Some of these don't look like they're for young adults. But the majority of the books from Dollar Tree are for young adults, so I'm a little confused. Okay, so this is Jane Evanovich and Dorian Kelly, Love in a Nutshell. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, these are, was, this is written by two authors, and there they are, and... This book used to be twenty seven ninety nine, and it was reduced to twenty ninety nine, and then it was reduced in in two thousand twelve for sixteen seventy nine, and then I got it for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Awesome! I think Dollar Tree is like one of the best places you can get your books because it's it's like brand new books, like this one's a hardcover, brand new books for like a cheap price. <laughs> <clears throat> and then here is Sweet Dates and Bas Basra or B Basra. I think this is like, yeah, this is Middle Eastern place, Basra. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce some stuff, but like, <laughs> and this is by Jessica Gigi. Looks interesting. Looks like a nice cover. And it says um, something about arranged marriages. Arab Maiden, Iraq's idyllic countryside, um, 1940s, uh, Iraq, a lot of traditions that are lost, a Jewish boy, da 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 da. So it sounds pretty deep. Sounds like it has a lot of cultures and stuff like that that I'm not really familiar of. Oh, it looks, it says here Avon. I don't know why it says Avon. I'm guessing that Avon was selling it at one point. I don't know. Author insights extras and more so that looks interesting i'm actually really looking forward to reading this just because i'm like i'm like more open-minded about other cultures and stuff so it's a harper collins publisher's book so that will be interesting to read and then the social oh the overnight socialite a novel by Brittany clark there's the cover uh <clears throat> it says they're in Manhattan. Uh, we meet Lucy, and she's trying to be a fashion designer. Uh, then she goes really quick back to her home in Minnesota, and she meets um, an anthropologist. So I'm guessing it's kind of like a romance. So it's written by this girl, Birdie Clark. She looks young, and it says she graduated from Harvard. She's written for New York Times, Vanity Fair, and a lot of other stuff. You know, <clears throat> even though these people aren't famous, like, that's really cool. Like, I think these are kind of like the people you should aspire to be, like, you know, writers and um, novelists and such and such. Like, because they've written for, like, quite, those are, like, heavy titles. Like, you know, that's my opinion. <clears throat> okay, and then um, Unfinished Business. One Man's Extraordinary Year of Trying to Do the Right Things by Lee Kravitz. I I got this because it sounded interesting. It sounded like half depressing, half interesting, half life lesson. I don't know. Those type of books, I, I find those interesting. It says, um, oh, well, that's all it says on the front. And in the back, it's like a lot of testimonials. It says... Um, achingly candid, this beautiful written and touching personal chronicle traces the author's year-long journey of searching for the pieces he left behind and how it led him to finding his better self. Excuse me. Kratz has written uh, a tri triumphant love letter to the human condition. That sounds cool. That sounds uh, enlightening, like something like that I need to like read. Like, I don't know. Like self-help, I don't know. Anyways, that was my haul for today. I was looking for a place to do this haul because, like, I don't know. Uh, I wanted to go outside, actually. But, like, I have a lot of neighbors that are here during the day and stuff. And I don't want them to listen to me and hear me. and Because, like, one of them, one time I started trying to make a video outside. And then, like, all of a sudden, all the kids came out. And it was, like, freaky. Like, what the hell? So I just decided not to film outside anymore because of that. Because people don't have lives, apparently. They stay home and they 
listen to other people. I don't know. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Please subscribe. That's my pathetic attempt to get more subscribers. Please subscribe or add me on my social networks. Bye.